Cut and scale guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we are back again with more new content because Season of the Seraph has finally dropped on us. And what we are looking at today is going to be the brand new pulse rifle, you, a seasonal pulse rifle you can get from the game. And it's going to be called Disparity. Now, I got this role from doing the first, of course, mission of the season. I don't know if it's a guaranteed role, but you do get a role of something. But the Disparity pulse rifle itself... You can see it looks hella dope. I mean, Warmind weapons, whenever it comes to these type of seasons, they always look insane. But this weapon itself, the role I did get, of course, is going to be Extended Barrel and Flared Magwell. We're going to have Heating Up, so final blows with the weapon increases accuracy and stability. And last but not least, we're going to have the Daddy Trait, which is going to be Swashbuckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. And of course, because it is a new seasonal weapon, it is going to have a brand new seasonal perk or brand new Origin Trait, which is going to be ambush improves range handling and damage against combatants during the opening moments of engagement really really cool in terms of how it works and everything obviously because it is a hack weapon it will be able to throw on the breach arms as well which i mean eh, it's not bad but i don't think anyone's gonna be really using it too much but it's really really dope and the other kicker is that it's another stasis weapon oh my god we need more stasis weapons i am really excited to use this 450 rpm as well meaning that it's in a solid archetype where it's a four round burst too. It's going to, of course, be craftable too because it is a seasonal weapon, but there is going to be random rolls for it and everything as well, which fortunately I don't have the API yet. It's not updated, so I don't know exactly what I can roll. But basically, if it's a 450 RPM, it could have that kill clip, that daddy trait, which would be just super nice. But overall, disparity. We're going to showcase what it's like in some PvP and PvE and realize why this new pulse is probably going to be freaking dope. So without further ado, let's go into PvP with the disparity pulse rifle. Alrighty, so this is what the disparity is going to look like, and you'll see it's a dope ass looking weapon overall. I mean, oh my god, I love the little radar on it as well. Are they teammates or is it actually just like radar? But this is going to be a 450 RPM, so you'll see it will have the capabilities of two bursting just like that. Right away, we get it off the rip, but yeah, two bursting is a really like a, a, I'd say a key thing to 450 RPM pulses, it's like their biggest thing. That makes him just insane. Obviously, sometimes you do need a triple tap, and there's a two burst on me. Sometimes you do need the triple tap and everything, and holy gamoli, the stacks. Ha! Bro, what happened to our freaking new matchmaking? It's not meant to be stacks v stacks. It's meant to be as a solo player. Where's my Where's my freelance, boys? Where's my freelance? But you can see, as a 450, it will be basically really good. And you can see it highlights too, which is really dope as well. Come on, bro. Don't freaking don't me like that. But you'll see, it is a really solid weapon right now. I mean, 450, it feels clean. I know I'm on a con or PC, so people will be like, oh, the stability is only good because you're on PC. But the thing about these sorts of weapons is, is that these things can drop super, super quick 450s. They are some of the best pulses in the game. And that's what I'm saying. It was super sad when they all got freaking sunset. But now we've got a brand new one, and it's freaking craftable, meaning that... It's going to be an insane weapon. I'm telling you right now. Stasis too, so it goes in that kinetic slot. And 450s, they're just gods here. These sorts of pulses, they are freaking nuts. It just gives, it brings me back, boys, to the freaking Blast Furnace meta. I re I need it back, boys. I need it back. But yeah, this, of course, does have that ambush perk trick going for it. Now, it does say combatants, so I'm going to say that it won't really, I don't know if it will really work in PvP and everything like that. But you can see the two burst thing is going to be insane. Oh my good god, you got dropped. Bruh, bruh. I got your back, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> now, I want to get the swashbuckler going because this does have swash and everything like that. So, I could probably get it going and just drop somebody with it. But overall, I can already tell you that this thing is just freaking money. Oh, my God. It's freaking beautiful. It's chaotic as hell, though, this freaking game right now. Because everyone and their mother is everywhere. And that's a little bit art. <laughs> Man, this is what playing against stacks feels like. It's just legit. Freaking clown cars of people everywhere. Boys, oh, my God. Lag as well. I'm getting shocked. Someone help me out here. Well, you can already tell the 450. It's a pretty dope Don't pulse rifle and everything. The double bursting is definitely one of the sweeter things about it. Like, oh, he actually died, thank God. But the double bursting is definitely, as I said, it's a 450 kind of thing. It's only really on the 450s and everything as well. Now, bro, what the hell is going on, this guy? But yeah, double bursting or two topping with it is just really dope. And when you get things like Rampage, especially heating up as well, so you get a kill, you're just absolutely freaking amped too. There is a ton of perks that make this uh, sort of pulse rifle just insanely freaking good. And you can see, super, super solid. Now, that guy just healed, bro. Come on, you want to swing it again? You want to You want to swing this again? Oh, they're all dipped. But yeah, you can see when the pulse gets going and everything like that, you can absolutely drop out. Now, I am not ashamed to take my AFA kills. I'm <laughs> Oh my god, he That's just does rolled backwards. What? Now Bungo, hold. where is my new connection? It said it'll take longer to find games for a better connection. And this is the crap I have to put up with. But I will say that the 450, especially when you start getting those random rolls and everything, 
This thing is gonna be filthy. I'm telling you right now. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be the top tier meta, but with Pulse Rifles dominating so far, it's definitely gonna be up there. I think that on certain maps, of course, you're gonna struggle, but I think overall, this is gonna be the new best Pulse Rifle to kind of go in with. But even this weapon, we're just heating up and freaking uh, Swashbuckler. You can see it's already a solid ass weapon. Uh, bro, you're gonna die for me. <laughs> I love dropping a well on someone and thinking, oh, they'll just shotgun you. You just, you just, you just can't, boys. You just can't. And that's another well. <laughs> we got the triple wells going. Move forward an inch at a time, boys. An inch at a freaking time. And okay, someone here has to die. Boys, 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 what's that? Oh my god, get me to the freaking well. That's a thunder thingy. But yeah, I will say that this uh, disparity, it's hella dope. I'm telling you right now. I think that when it comes to PvP, this is going to be the new best uh, sort of pulse to go in with because it can just drop out so freaking quickly Five now, boys. Nobody caught this Keep B flag and we've been here for like a year and I am so dead. Right? Premature rift, boys. Premature rift. You got to do it because I'm going to get shotgunned. Ah! He's doing my trick. He's doing my trick. I'm getting chased so hard right now, I think. Uh, well, boys, we didn't get freaking B flag even though we had it for like a year. And... Oh, is that a glaive? Oh, we actually won. All right, well, there's a W. That was a quick game. Quicker than me and bed because, of course... Oh, don't freaking stoop for me. But, yeah, that was uh, that was kind of domination and everything. But that is a bit of the disparity. You can kind of see it's a two-burst machine. Different perks is obviously enhanced with crafting and everything. This thing is going to be super dope. 17 of bonus speed at 2.43. Alrighty, so we are going to be doing the PvE side of things, of course, with a disparity. And this is what it's going to be like in, of course, the PvE. Ooh, we got the deep side done already. But PvE, this is going to be pretty sweet, as I said. Stasis Pulse Rifle with enhanced perks and everything. Going to be really dope. And as well, with the seasonal artifact mods that are currently in the season, you'll see I've got the barrier on for Pulse Rifle. So Pulse Rifles are going to be barrier... Um, there's going to be barrier marks for Pulse Rifles this season. Meaning that pulses might become a little bit more, I know, usable GMs. Now, I do understand that freaking uh, bow is onto barrier too. And bows generally are just the best. But you can see, this is a dope ass pulse. And the way that it highlights targets and everything. Highlighting scopes are honestly just so freaking sweet. I, I love them so much. It's a clean ass scope. It's got 20 zoom as well, 19 zoom as well. Which is pretty high up as well. And especially with having Swashbuckler or PvE. It means that one melee and all of a sudden I am amped with damage. So one melee kill. And I got a ton of extra damage going. 450 RPM footy and there's four bursts. Man, this sort of pulse rifle, it's a dream. This will probably be my mainstay when it comes to PvP because, as I said, Blast Furnace used to be my baby. And this is like the Blast Furnace 2.0. I'm not gonna lie. This legit feels not exactly the same, but it definitely has the same sort of aesthetic to it and everything in terms of obviously Black Army War minus stuff. So, 100%, this is gonna be my go to because, yeah, it's a freaking beautiful pulse rifle. I mean, look at it. It's got a little laser sight as well. Really clean ass scope. What more can you want from a freaking weapon? Of course, PvE and everything like that. Pulse rifles, I wouldn't say they're bad or anything. They're definitely solid choices, but I mean, when it, with the swashbuckler, you can do extra damage, but it's not going to be do anything too influential. It's not going to be anything like God tier or anything like that. I do think that with the new barrier or the mods and everything, as I said, barrier mods, so it might be useful. And with enhanced traits and everything, it could be dope as well. But the fact that this pulse rifle doesn't have any sort of like, I know it's stasis, so it never will, but. If you're going to be using something, you'd probably want to get something with, like, either Jolt, uh, Incandescent is another one, of course. Even the Volatile kind of bullets as well. You have Void Weapons. So, Energy Weapons, when it comes to Primaries, they do a little bit better. But when it comes to this, if you want to get Font Mike going, especially with uh, Vengeful Wells and stuff with a Stasis Weapon, this could be a really solid choice, because you can see, it's like a laser beam once you get going, one Splash Booker melee kill as well. And you just do it a ton of damage. You can see everything's getting absolutely melted. I mean, it's a beautiful weapon, honestly, overall, this this disparity. I'm definitely going to be one of these guys who gets this freaking updated straight away, too. Uh oh, heal me. No, give me the heals. Oh, thank God, I feel good now. But it's definitely going to be a weapon I'll try to get to hands straight away because it is dope. And this is the role I got, like, right off the rip, so I'm not going to say you're definitely going to get this one just from doing the first mission, but there's a high chance you get a solid ass roll from doing the first mission. As I said, it's not even just the weapon itself. Look how it highlights everything. I love this green highlighting. Usually the highlights are red. This green, like, sort of scope. Oh, I am liking it. Maybe I'll help people with, like, the colorblind issues, too. I don't know. I don't think colorblind accessibility would actually change them as well. But the fact that this one highlights green could be a big deal for a lot of people. I think that could make the weapon even more so it's sweet for highlighting. Oh, I died to PvE! But that could be another reason that you might want to get this weapon, especially, as I said, if you have those colorblind issues. This might be a really sweet weapon to kind of combat that in terms of just highlighting green instead of the red, which, as I said, people can't really see with that. 
Now that I say it, I'm pretty sure when it comes to uh, colorblind and stuff like that, green and red are usually the ones that you can't see, so you might not have the same kind of, I don't know what it's called, their chinope or something like that. But overall, yeah, it would be really nice if it doesn't, like, fix things for you or help you out. Well, that is it for me. And, of course, the disparity pulse drive. You can see it's a beautiful piece. Of course, I will have residents as well. So there is a pattern already given to me. So you get a red board, I'm pretty sure, just from doing the mission, the first mission. But overall, this is a dope-ass weapon. This is basically the freaking Blast Furnace 2.0. I know it's not exactly the same model and everything because they're different, unique models. But it feels just as juicy it has a clean it's literally like it has the rasmussen uh, scope because they've got a real clean ass pulse rifle scope i'm telling you it's no box sight it's just a nice clean scope recoil direction is a bit bouncy because you can see 77 but overall i think it is still solid especially when you get this ambush going and everything improved handling and range and stuff on your first shot it's basically like having open shot as a freaking origin trait then you also have that swash book and everything to go on to it and as i said this will be craftable meaning enhanced traits and everything too so overall disparity pulse rifle telling you right now this is going to be a dope ass pulse this is going to be top tier in a lot of people's hands especially for pvp pve as i said it's going to be good stasis though i i don't mind that i think it goes in really well with certain builds but pvp this is going to be top tier right now i think it's such a dope pulse rifle especially because i know there is other pulse rifles going in like even no time is dope i know but disparity is a two bursting weapon this is one of the most reliable freaking uh, intrinsic sort of um, archetypes of pulse rifle that can two tap definitely get your hands on this as quick as you can it is dope and definitely try craft this out as quick as you can because when this gets enhanced it's going to be freaking nuclear good but regardless if you like the video just like and you want to see more content subscribe and fantastic day and hopefully i'll see you in the next collective in the next one